The debate surrounding AI chatbots and AI agents is heating up within the AI community. Simple AI chatbots rely on directly querying a large language model to generate responses based on its pre-trained knowledge. These chatbots have limitations in understanding context. Retrieval augmented generation chatbots enhance this approach by combining retrieval-based and generative AI models. This allows them to deliver more accurate and contextually relevant responses. AI agents are designed to go beyond simple conversations. They are tasked with specific objectives and can take actions much like a human assistant. Key capabilities of AI agents include task automation, handling repetitive tasks without human intervention, decision-making, utilizing data to make informed decisions swiftly, goal-oriented behavior, focusing on achieving specific objectives. AI agent with a tool use workflow generally involves the following steps. Step one, receives a user query. Step two, checks conversations history and adds context to the prompt. Step three, agent decides whether to use a tool or return an answer directly. Step four, if required, the tool is executed and the tool output received. Agent analyzes the result to determine if the task is complete or needs further iteration. If it doesn't, then the agent returns the result. Step five, agent stores the conversation history. Agent repeats step two to step five until the desired result is achieved. If the desired result is achieved, then the response is provided to the user in step six. Let's explore the AI agent workflow tool with an example. Prompt, what's the time in Tokyo and how's the weather there? The agent first analyzes the query to identify the key information. Based on the identified information, the agent selects the most appropriate tool to address the first part of the query. The agent performs an action to query the time tool to get the current time in Tokyo. The agent now has the time information. It uses this context to refine its query for the next tool. The agent selects the next tool based on the remaining query and the available context. Now the agent performs an action to query the weather tool to get the current weather conditions in Tokyo. The agent combines the information from both tools. The agent formats the combined information into a clear and concise response and returns it to the user. Let's go over the implementation of this example. Setup. A link to this repository is posted in the description section of this video. First, clone the repository and install the required libraries. Next, update the .env file with your API keys. The key core components are agent.pi. This is the main orchestrator of the system. Manages tool execution and response generation. Supports multi-tool operations with sequential execution. Maintains conversation context through memory system. Memory.py This stores conversation history. Maintains a fixed size memory buffer. Provides contextual information for LLM queries. LLM client.py This handles communication with OpenAI's API. Manages prompt, generation, and response parsing. Supports customizable model selection. BaseTool.py This is an abstract base class for all tools. Defines standard interface for tool implementation. The available tools are TimeTool.py This provides time zone aware time information. Supports all standard time zone formats. Example, get time in America slash New York. WeatherTool.pi This fetches current weather information. Uses Open Weather Map API. Provides temperature and weather conditions. Example, get weather in London. I will break down the agent class and explain each major section in detail. Class initialization and basic methods initializes LLM client memory system and store available tools.
The method getToolDescriptions creates a formatted list of all available tools and their descriptions. The method getToolByName finds and returns a tool object by its name. It returns none if tool not found. Prompt generation creates the complete prompt for the LLM, including Previous conversation context from memory, list of available tools and their descriptions, the user's input, instructions for how to format tool usage, and example of using multiple tools. Tool sequence parsing converts LLM's response into structured tool commands. E. Tool execution takes the parsed tool sequence and executes each tool. For each tool, it gets the tool object by name and executes the tool with provided arguments and collects the result and adds any next step descriptions. It then returns combined results as a string. Response handling is the main logic for processing LLM's response. It checks if response requires tool usage. If yes, it parses the tool sequence and executes the tools and gets a natural language summary from LLM. If no, returns the original response. Input processing and main loop. Process input is the main processing pipeline. It adds user input to memory, generates prompt for LLM, gets response, handles tool usage if needed, and adds response to memory. Run method is an interactive command line interface. It takes user input, processes it, shows response and repeats until user types quit. Let's run the agent and verify the workflow. In essence, the agent breaks down the complex query into simpler subqueries, selects the appropriate tools for each subquery, and then combines the results to provide a comprehensive answer. This workflow demonstrates the agent's ability to reason, plan, and execute actions to fulfill the user's request effectively. By understanding AI agents, we can harness their potential to improve our lives, businesses, and society as a whole. Now you know how AI agents works and how to build one from scratch. Hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching.